name is Jim Green and I'm a gunsmith. Today's gun we're going to cover disassembly of is an M1 Garand. Now these rifles have been around since 1936. They were adopted, U.S. military issue. They were invented by a Canadian. Standard issue was uh, .30-06. They were originally going to be chambered for, I believe, 276 Peterson. But General MacArthur at the time said, hey, U.S. military, we got quite a few million rounds of .30-06. Take that thing back to the drawing board, beef it up a little bit, and make it into a .30-06. I'm not going to cover a whole lot of history other than to say that this is the rifle that won World War II. Like I said, they were first general issue about 1936. They were used in World War II, used all the way through Korea, and even up to Vietnam some. Then they turned right around when they got the M14 and decided, hey, we have all these people, all these uh, client states. Let's go ahead and give them a bunch of good quality rifles. So they, a bunch of them went to South Korea, a bunch of them went to different European militaries. These rifles were made by Springfield and Winchester in World War II. Then later on, Harrington and Richardson and then uh, International Harvester made them all the way through uh, Korea. A couple million of these guns made. So we're not going to cover a whole lot of the history, but what we're going to cover today is how to disassemble this rifle yourself at home for a good thorough cleaning. Seeing as how this is an old former war horse military work gun, it's not going to require any tools to do it. So let's get started. What you want to do is make sure that, just like any other gun, that it's empty. Pull that uh, slide back, lock the bolt to the rear, make sure the chamber is empty. You don't want an accidental discharge. So what we'll do is we'll start off setting the safety. Grab hold of the trigger guard assembly back here, pull back, lift up, it comes out in one whole piece. We'll set that to the side. Grab the rear sights, lift up, push forward, you remove your stock. Turn the gun over so you can work with it. Your operating rod back here, you want to grab that. Hold on your, uh, hold on your shell lifter back there, pull your off rod back up and out. Hold your spring out. Set it to the side. Okay. Take your uh, op rod back here by the handle, pull back on it. You'll notice, let me grab a pointer here. You'll notice a little cutout right here on the side. I'm not sure how well you can see that. You pull that all the way back and push down at the same time. Your op rod comes loose from the bolt. All right. You got all that loosened up. Come up here on the front. See your gas plug right there? We're going to remove that. Now, they make an M10 tool that's issued that goes in the butt trap of the gun here. If you don't happen to have one of those, a large flat blade screwdriver will work. Pull that gas plug out and set it off. I'm going to move this little threaded lock piece right here. I just put a match grade barrel on this, so this is a little bit snug. You'll run across this sometimes. Get you a plastic or a rubber mallet. Tap all that loose. Like I said, I just put a match grade barrel on this. Everything's nice and tight right now. Front hand guard off. There's your operating rod. Got to get your bolt out. A little bit tricky sometimes. Grab the bolt right here by the side. Lift up. Turn it. Pull it right out and set it off to the side too. Now for basic cleaning and field stripping, that's about as far as you want to go. What if you got a bunch of gunk and trash all up in here and you really want to take that out? Get you a small center punch. Notice you have a large head on this side, small head on that side of the pin. Go from the small to the large side and push that out. Remove that pin. Okay. Here's your cartridge guide. You can grab that and lift it up and pull it. Remove that. Cartridge guide will fall out the bottom. You take that off. The last part you can remove, this little, lip, uh, this little uh, cartridge clip over here, this little latch. You get another small pin. Push down and hold that. You slide that forward. Grab the head of that pin. 
Let me get a little pair of needle nose pliers here. And work that loose too. Okay. Somebody's going to look at that and say, oh my God, he went so fast I didn't see it. So let's put it back together. Okay. Take your cartridge guide. See this little T-slot right here? It'll fit together just like that. Whoop, let me drop that. See how that goes in there? Take your cartridge guide. You'll have two little cutouts up here in the front of this. Take your little bolt stop, so the leg that sticks down, lay that up in there and line it up with the holes. Cartridge guide. Turn this sideways, fit it in here. Get everything lined up just like that. Real simple gun. It's not that difficult. I was tossing parts so fast, I almost lost them. Remember, you've got that large opening here and small opening there. Large head on the pin, small end. Small end first. Push it all the way through. Turn your gun back over on the side there. Your clip latch. You have the same thing over here. You have a large, a large head on this pin. Goes from the front to the rear. military guns. They come apart so easy. Now, you got all that back together. You want to make sure it works. See your little clip latch? See this piece up here that locks the uh, locks the uh, op rod to the rear? Push up and down on that. You see your little clip latch moving. Alright. Now, let's put your bolt and your op rod back in. Go to the bolt first. Got your firing pin sticks out there. You'll notice on the inside of the receiver, there's a little notch cut out for that to slide into right there. Once you got that back in, oh, and by the way, something you want to make sure of for wear on this, you want this to be no no smaller than 525 thousandths, because you want that. Uh, piston to slide inside the gas tube right there. That's going to be a pro major problem. If this thing gets warm, gets a little bit thin, it's going to cause too much gas to blow past it and the rifle's going to start short stroking. You're going to have malfunction problems. So you might want to micro take a little dial indicator, dial caliper, and micrometer of that thing. Make sure it's the size you need. Now, when you're putting this back together, you got your little cutout right here. This part of your bolt fits on that. Doesn't require a whole lot of lubrication for an M1 Garand, but this is one of your lubrication points here. Also right in here. You want to use a nice heavy lithium based grease. Okay. Once we got that, take your hand guard. Slide your hand guard back up. Your uh, gas tube. Like I said, with this nice match grade barrel, that's going to be pretty snug. Gas cylinder lock. gas plug. Okay, now that we got that much of the gun back together, you 
you'll notice on your spring rod here, you got one in that's tapered down a little bit. Stick that back up in the hole right there. Right for your off rod guide. See it's got the little hump right there? That's the side that faces down. Notice you got a couple little forks. So we're going to hook right up in here. So let's get this back in. Goes together pretty simple. I'm going to put the stock back on. Now when you go to put the trigger guard back in, you'll notice you got your hammer caught and your safety still on. If you look right here on the side, on either side, here and over here, you've got locking lugs. You want to look and make sure those are nice and round because after being disassembled for quite a bit, the bottoms of those lugs will start to wear. Your gun won't be quite as tight as it should be. If you notice wear right there, you can drive this pin out of the side and replace just the trigger guard part. In this case, it's in good shape, so we're not going to bother with it. There's your gun completely reassembled. Now we're going to do what they call a functions check. We're going to make sure it locks to the rear. We're going to watch for M1 thumb though. Put your hand like this against the charging handle here. Stick your thumb down, push down on the cartridge lifter. Let it go forward. Safety works. It fires. So what I like to do to do a good functions check is I'm going to hold the trigger back. While I'm holding the trigger, I'm going to release it, listen for it to click. You hear that little click when I let off the trigger and then pull it again when it snaps? It means you got it reassembled properly. M1 Garand. According to General Patton, the absolute best battle, imp battle implement ever devised by man. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a firearm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, coat it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.